everybody, it's Zephyr here with another video tutorial, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get and install some VST plugins into FL Studio. So we're going to get started right away, and I'm going to show you how to get some VST plugins. One of the easier ways to do that is uh, open up your internet browser, and we're going to go to a website called kvraudio.com. This website has news on uh, plugins and patches and forums, but what we want right now is the plugin database on this blue bar here. So click this button, and it'll bring you to the search page where you can do a quick search for some plugins, or you can specify a more advanced search. I'm just going to do a real quick search for a synth, which is what I'm going to be looking for today. Uh, you're going to want to be a little more specific. You can search for any sort of effect or instrument. And then just click search. And it'll bring you to this uh, results page. So you can see everything that it comes up with. And uh, a little bit of information on it. It'll have the product name, the developer, the type of synth in this case, or effect, the price, and which formats it comes in. So, looking on here, I see Synth1 came up, and that's a really good free VST plugin, a good synth. So I'm going to take a look at that. Click on that, and it'll bring you to this page, the information page, where you can see a little bit more information on it. And uh, this again, and you can also look, I'm going to look at some member reviews on this bar at the top. He got, uh, he gave it a 9 out of 10, and he says he likes it. Reviews look good. I think I'm going to try it out. Back on the main page here, you see it comes in VST, which is what we want. So, I'm going to go to the free download link, right here. Click that. It'll bring you to the page where the VST is hosted. In this case, it's a Japanese website, because it's a... Uh, Japanese made VST, but the plugin is in English. So click your link and download it like any other link. When it prompts you to save it somewhere, we're going to want to keep all of our VSTs in one spot so that they're easy to manage and organize and stuff. So I made a VST folder on my C drive and uh, I'm going to save it in here. But I also keep all of my plugins in individual folders to keep all of their files separate from one another, and it's just easier to organize. So I made a Synth1 folder earlier, uh, so you're going to want to make one of those and save it in here. I saved one earlier. So hit save, it'll download it, and then we're going to go into my computer and find that folder. Synth1. There we go. Okay, so in this case it saved it as a zip archive. So we're going to need to extract it before we can use it. You can do that with WinZip or WinRAR or any other sort of extraction plugin. I'm going to extract it. Hit OK. And there we go. Okay, so it extracted it to this folder here. You can go in and see. Uh, this is what was in there. It's got some sound banks, and this here is the actual plugin, the DLL file. So it's extracted, it's uh, there, it's ready to go. So we can close this and open up FL Studio. Now there's a few things we have to do first so that it knows where to look for the plugins. We're going to go into this options bar, and you can't see this, but I'm going to choose file settings. It'll pop up with this bar here, and uh, we want down here where it says VST Plugins Search Folder. Click here and choose the folder that you made earlier that has all of your VST plugins in it. Mine is under the C drive VST. So I chose that one. You can close this. Now we're going to add the plugin to our project. Okay. So, there's two spots that you can load an instrument into FL Studio. You can right-click on an existing channel, 
and choose Insert or Replace. Or you can go up to this Channels bar here and choose Add One More, which is what I'm going to do. So now it'll come up with this. And this shows all of your plugins that are currently loaded into the folder that you said, as well as all of the fruity plugins. And uh, it's not going to show up in here yet. You need to have it refresh its directory. So go down to refresh, click on that, and it'll come up with two options fast scan and scan and verify. You want fast scan. So click that, it'll do a quick scan. And it should tell you that it found some new plugins. Now you can scroll through the list and uh, find the new plugins. They should be bright red. Mine aren't because I uh, loaded them earlier. So find your Synth 1 plugin. And if you like, you can click here and make it a favorite so that it'll uh, show up in your quick load list. Double click that and it'll load up like this. So now you can see in your channels bar, you have uh, the Synth 1 VSTI loaded. Now you can use it in your songs, and uh, use it in an instrument. It works fine, and uh, it's ready to go. You can also do the same thing for loading effects plugins, and just click on one of these little arrows, and choose more, and it'll bring you to the same place. Just choose the effect, and it'll load it right up there. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial, and if you're interested in purchasing FL Studio or any other image line products, I can get you 10% off with the link in the comments of the video. Alright, see you next time. Enjoy making music.